Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. A lithography machine is a device for making chips. To reproduce the precise chip pattern on the surface of the wafer, the lithography machine needs to use the principle of a camera to expose. But all roads lead to Rome, and there are more than one types of lithography machines. The United States and Japan are exploring various lithography machine technologies, and China's new lithography machines are also coming. What kind of lithography machine equipment is this? How long can ASML's EUV lithography machine develop? Countries around the world start exploring lithography machines. When it comes to lithography machines, most people think of ASML in the Netherlands. This company is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer. The DUV and EUV lithography machines it produces sell well all over the world. Especially for EUV lithography machines, only ASML can produce them. It integrates 100,000 components, backed by more than 5,000 suppliers around the world, using top technologies from all over the world. ASML integrates global industrial chain resources to achieve mass production of EUV lithography machines standing at the top of the pyramid in the chip manufacturing supply chain. Without ASML's EUV lithography machine, giants such as TSMC, Samsung, and Intel cannot manufacture high-end chips, and chips designed by companies such as Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek cannot enter the production line. In short, Everything needs the support of lithography machines in order to steadily promote the development of the chip industry. However, ASML's EUV lithography machine is not easy to buy. Money is one thing, and it is another thing to purchase within the scope of the rules. Moreover, the production capacity of ASML's EUV lithography machines is very limited with mass production of 40 or 50 units a year. Various factors have prompted countries to explore lithography machines and study other solutions outside the traditional lithography machine path. First look at the United States. The electron beam lithography machine made in the United States was developed by the American company Zyvex Labs. The company built Zyvex Litho 1, the world's highest resolution lithography machine system, which can realize 0.7 nanometers chip manufacturing and is used in the field of quantum computers. The lithography accuracy of Zyvex Litho 1 exceeds that of EUV lithography machines, and the line width is only 0.768 nanometers. The chips manufactured at atomic level resolution can be said to have reached the limit of physical rules. But obviously, the Zyvex Litho 1 lithography machine is aiming to break the limit. Of course, Zyvex Litho 1 is not without disadvantages, such as low production capacity and limited scope of application. In addition to playing a huge role in quantum processor chips, it seems that it cannot be applied to consumer electronics. Next, look at Japan. Japan developed nanoimprint equipment. This device uses a technique similar to printing, which is biased towards transferring the chip pattern by traditional mechanical means. Compared with the traditional lithography machine, there is no dependence on the light source and the equipment template can be used repeatedly, which greatly reduces the cost of use and has no power consumption. At present, giants such as Canon and Kyoxia in Japan are actively promoting the research and development of nanoimprinting equipment. It is said that they have achieved a breakthrough in mature technology and will move towards high-end technology in the future. If nanoimprinting equipment achieves high-end technology, perhaps the dominance of traditional lithography machines will be broken. 
Also look at China. After the United States and Japan announced the development of a lithography machine, the Chinese team officially announced the launch of a new type of lithography machine called a super-resolution lithography machine, which can achieve a 22 nanometers process. It is reported that the super-resolution lithography machine is a research and development project of the Institute of Optoelectronics, Chinese Academy of Sciences. It solves the super-resolution lithography lens, high uniformity illumination, multi-degree of freedom workpiece table and other technologies, and adopts a 365 nanometers wavelength light source. The principle of a traditional lithography machine is to reflect the laser light to the lithography template and expose the chip pattern on the surface of the wafer coated with photoresist. The principle of the super-resolution lithography machine is to put the light source on the surface of the lens, then form a plasma, and then re-engrave the chip pattern on the silicon wafer. However, there is still a lot of room for improvement in the production efficiency and focus area of this lithography machine, and continued efforts are still needed. How long can ASML's EUV lithography machine develop? The exploration of lithography machines in various countries is rich and diverse, challenging the traditional path of lithography machines. Electron beam lithography machines in the United States, nano imprinting equipment in Japan, and super resolution lithography machines in China. In addition, humans are also trying to replace traditional lithography machines with various technologies such as directional self assembly and plasma lasers. Although there are various innovative technology explorations in the industry, it still needs repeated verification to completely replace the traditional lithography machine. ASML's lithography machine technology has been verified in the industry. With decades of research and development experience, all technologies are very mature, and a complete set of industrial chain models have been formed. It is impossible to change just by saying it. Otherwise, who will bear the cost of technology iteration and who will bear the risk of failure? However, under the limit of Moore's law, the traditional path will have to be adjusted sooner or later, and innovative technologies may provide solutions at critical moments. So how long can ASML's EUV lithography machine develop? Perhaps ASML's EUV lithography machine has encountered a performance bottleneck. At present, the EUV lithography machine can support the mass production of 3 nanometers chips. But at 2 nanometers, more advanced NAEUV lithography machines must be used. ASML will mass produce iterative equipment in 2024 to support chip manufacturers to complete the mass production breakthrough of 2 nanometers chips. After that, whether ASML can launch more iterative products, I am afraid that ASML does not know. Moore's law has guided the development of human chips for half a century, providing important guiding ideas and ASML is also facing tremendous pressure to improve performance. Whether it can break the limit of Moore's law requires the efforts of all mankind. No matter what kind of innovative technology there is, there is only one purpose, to continue the infinite possibilities of human chip technology. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.